and welcome to Course Academy, Unwinding the Course of Your Knowledge. In this particular video, we'll be unzipping a file or folder using Tracentis Tosca. Let's see the prerequisites for this. Only a single file or folder should exist in a directory. Create a new folder to have the extracted files. Windows PowerShell version V3.0 or upward should be installed. I have a zip file named as dirty subset at C drive temp location and I have created a dirty subset folder. Let's quickly jump into Tosca. I have already created a test case here. We'll be using the tbox start program module to achieve our goal. Using this module, we'll be doing it in a single test step. Here I have already added the module to explain the syntax. You can locate the tbox start program module here. Standard modules, tbox automation tools, process operations, tbox start program. In this test step, path is one of the attributes Path is provided as PowerShell as we'll be using Windows PowerShell to do this. In the arguments section, provide an argument as expand archive hyphen path source path hyphen destination path destination path. Expand archive extracts files from a specified archive file. Source path is the path to your zip file. And destination path is path to the folder where extracted files should be stored. Important thing to note here is that while entering the arguments, make sure to enter it correctly as even if you enter it in incorrect format, no error is displayed. Execution results will be shown as passed in green color. However, you will not be able to get the actual desired results. So let's actually implement this. I'll just copy paste this particular step and let's provide the source path. We have to provide the name of the zip file. along with its extension .zip. Then we'll provide the path of the destination folder. Again, it will be C drive, temp, slash name of the folder. Okay, so here what I have done is I haven't in I haven't removed the triangular brackets. I have kept them as it is. Now let's see what happens after its execution. So the execution result is passed, displayed in green color. There is no particular error, but we'll not get output as this is not the correct format to provide the file path. So as you can see, dirty subset is empty, file is not extracted. So let's correct this. All right, good to go. And we'll execute this. For a fraction of second, Windows PowerShell window is opened. Execution happens. Let's see, here we have the result. I hope this video helps you. Thank you.